Welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 86, and for this one, we break some meetup game records at Maryland Live. I play 3-5, no limit Texas Hold'em, and I win big, so uh, it's really fun to watch. But before we get into it, I've got a couple huge announcements. The first one is that Jonathan Little is giving away three $500 seats to the Big 50 World Series of Poker Tournaments. All you have to do is click on the link down below in the description box, enter in your email address, enter in your name, and you'll become eligible. So. If you hate free money, then uh, you know maybe don't do it. But if you like free things like I do, then uh, definitely take advantage of that. There's a few huge sales going on too. If you don't know who Jonathan Little is, uh, he is a tournament crusher. He has like over $7 million in tournament caches. And he has something called the Ultimate Coaching Bundle, which is five videos. It's like 70 plus hours of him doing private coaching. And he coaches players who, who are playing uh, a range of tournaments from $10 online buy-ins to $100,000 sit and go to the 25K uh, Poker Stars Players Championship and, and everything in between. So if you're interested in uh, upping your tournament game, maybe you're coming out for the World Series of Poker this year and you want to be prepared, I highly suggest checking this out and taking advantage. Usually it's $699 for, for those five videos, but right now with the promo code BRAD, uh, which is already already input in there if you click on the link in the description box below all you have to do is hit the apply button it instantly becomes only 99 dollars. so that is a huge savings and uh, there's a big discount going on also for his site it's called pokercoaching.com he links up with alex fitzgerald and matt affleck actually matt and i have been playing a little bit together lately and it's been uh, fun to tangle with him uh, this site is for cash game players and tournament grinders the three pros, they will take you through these interactive hand quizzes. There's hundreds of them. You go through yourself and uh, you make decisions uh, pre-flop and post-flop. They tell you which decision is correct and why. They give you optimal lines. Plus you'll have access to dozens of webinars and access to uh, tons of videos that are made by other legends in the game. So right now, a one-year membership with the promo code BRAD is $199, two-year membership is $249, and a three-year membership is $299. So it's a big discount. I think it's over 70% or somewhere around there. And uh, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box below and hit that apply button. And that'll, that'll give you that discount. Uh, the reason why I like this poker site and just poker sites in general is I think there's a ton of value in them. I think it's the best way to learn how to play poker and improve your game. Uh, if you learn something that's going to increase your hourly by 50 cents or a dollar over the course of your life, it's going to pay for itself several times over. And what's what's likely to happen is you're going to learn something that's going to increase your hourly five or possibly even 10 or even more dollars per hour. And uh, that's just going to vastly increase your, your career winnings. So uh, invest in yourself. That's what, that's what you have to do to become an intermediate or good poker player and take advantage of these deals. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Just got into Maryland Live and they hooked it up big time. They gave Andrew and I each presidential suites. So I've got this awesome hotel room. Uh, it's on the corner in the 19th floor and uh, it's super cool. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. It's pretty amazing that they surprised us with suites. The property as a whole is super impressive. I grabbed dinner at David's restaurant bar downstairs before calling it a night. Next morning, I'm pumped up because it is game day today and there are 286 people on the list for 3-5 No Limit with Andrew and I. They, they're, we have the whole downstairs today. Uh, they have two floors, so uh, they said they're gonna dedicate 20 tables to us. This is by far the biggest meetup game that we've ever done. We, pro we thought we'd probably get around 80 people, maybe 100. Uh, to have this many people be on the list at this point is absolutely nuts. The listed start time is 6.30 p.m., but we want to try to play with as many people as possible, so we open up the tables and get the games rolling several hours earlier than we originally anticipated. The room fills up quickly. We get an amazing turnout with a meetup game record of 22 full 3-5 tables. 
I buy in for a thousand, then take my seat. Within 15 minutes, I get dealt 9-7 of hearts in the hijack. The player on my right opens a 15. I call, might be on the loose side, but I want to play. The button calls and the big blind calls as well. Four of us are going to the flop and it comes Jack, 10, 8, Rainbow. We flop the second nuts. The big blind checks, the pre-flop raiser bets 35. Certainly not going to slow play this since there are a number of bad cards that could come on the turn and kill the action for me or cause me to lose the lead. I don't particularly want to see any card over a 6. I put in the raise to 110. The button and the big blind fold. The player in middle position hesitates, but eventually he calls. We're heads up. The turn is the king of spades and the opponent checks. This is not a great card since ace queen makes it straight now too. And this is a plausible holding that we could be up against since it would have been a double gutter with two overs on the flop. Would certainly be strong enough to bet and then call a raise with. My hand gets downgraded to the third nuts. Still, there are plenty of hands that might have called us on the flop that we're beating. I fire for 250. The player tanks. Then he folds. I let him know that he made the correct lay down and show him the straight. He tells me that he had ace jack. We win and we're off to a good start. In this one, we've got king 10 suited in the cutoff, under the gun plus one limps in. I raise to 20, the small blind calls, under the gun plus one calls, three of us see the flop, it comes ace queen six rainbow with no spade, the opponents both check. This is a flop that's gonna be much better for my range than it will be for the two other players. I can have aces, queens, and ace queen, whereas I wouldn't expect to be up against those holdings from a pre-flop limper or the small blind caller. They're usually gonna have low to mid pocket pairs and some suited connector type hands. Also, I'm drawn to the nuts, so I feel comfortable betting. I make it 40. The players fold. I win a small pot. We're living the dream, drinking, and playing some poker. Here we pick up ace queen suited in the hijack. Under the gun limps in. Under the gun plus one also limps. I only see one limp initially, and I raise to 20. Ordinarily, I'd raise to 25 in this spot. The button flats, as do the two limpers. Four of us see the flop. It's king seven four with two hearts. We've got the nut flush draw with a backdoor straight draw and one over. Checks to me. I bet 50 is a semi bluff. The button folds. Under the gun calls. Under the gun plus one folds. It's heads up. The turn is the jack of spades, so we pick up a gut shot straight draw. The opponent checks. I have 12 outs in the nuts, and I fire for 125. The player calls. I would be forever grateful to the poker gods if I could drill something. And I do. The river is the five of hearts. We've got the best possible hand in all of the land. The opponent checks. I put out 275. The opponent goes deep into the tank for almost a full minute. I fired on all three streets, even after the draw gets there. So in his mind, it probably seems that it must have been bluffing at least at some point. And to be fair, for two streets, I was. He makes the call. I turn over the winner. It's a nice sized pot that's coming our way. We're up 575 and it has been smooth sailing so far. Next we're dealt ace jack offsuit in the cutoff. I open to 15. The button calls, the small blind comes along. Three of us go to the flop and it's 1088 with two puppy feet. Not a great flop for us. We all check. The turn is a jack giving us top top. The small blind checks. We're gonna have the best hand most of the time with this action. I bet 40. There are lots of draws out and multiple opponents so I made it slightly bigger than I would have if it were heads up. Both players call, which is kind of surprising. The river is the five of spades. Two opponents probably have a missed draw that they won't be able to call a bet with or a worse jack, so I'm gonna bet fairly large, maybe around 120. Hold up, I'm not gonna get a chance to bet. The small blind decides to bet for me. He makes it 80. Looks like a blocker bet with a hand like queen jack or king jack. It certainly feels that way. I consider raising, but I'm not sure if those hands will call a raise, so I just flat. There's some chance that I'm up against something much stronger. The button folds, small blind turns over, pocket eights, he's got quads, usually gonna win it, easy game for him. We take a hit before getting involved in a double board bomb pot. Every player puts in 15 before the cards are dealt and then we go straight to two flops. The first board comes 8-4 deuce rainbow. I look down on my hand for the first time here and it turns out I've got top two pair. The second board is a 6 3 with two diamonds. Not my favorite, but I do have a backdoor straight draw. Checks to me, I'm under the gun plus one, and I bet 65. Few players fold, then the cutoff starts putting out chips. This guy hates money. The button calls, then the big blind calls too. Four of us see the turns. The first one is a queen, and the second one is a 10. The big blind checks. We can be almost 100% certain that our eight high is no good on the second board with three other callers, so we need to bet enough to get people to fold so that we can avoid splitting this pot. I make it 350 to maximize pressure. All three opponents let their hands go. We scoop the entire thing just like we planned it. 
At my fifth table of the night, I pick up pocket jacks under the gun plus one, and I open to 15. Middle position player calls, big blind calls. Three of us see the flop. It's king, queen, five, rainbow. That's not great. We all check. The turn is an ace. It's not really getting much better for us. We all check again. The river is a jack. It gives me a set, but there are now four to the straight. The big blind leads for 20. Seems like he's doing this for value, but I'm near the top of my range. Given how I played this hand so far, I should be calling. It's too exploitable if I'm not, but. This is such a weird one, man. This. Show a 10, show a 10 one time. The opponent value bet or blocker bet ace five, which is two pair, and ends up being a nice bluff because I'm a clown and I folded the best hand. Later I pick up a six offsuit in a single board bomb pot. We each put in $15. I'm on the button. It's a huge advantage to be last to act. The flop comes ace 10 7 with two diamonds, so we've got top pair. Under the gun plus two goes all in for 140. Folds to me. Although top pair may seem decent, it's not strong enough to call here. This guy's all in and he ripped it against eight other players. Even if he's on some kind of draw, he's going to win a good percentage of the time. If he's value betting, I could potentially be drawing nearly dead or to three outs. There's still plenty of other people I need to be worried about too. I fold at the risk of making two bad laydowns in a row. The under the gun player calls, under the gun plus two shows ace king, and under the gun has ace nine. Ace king wins it, and just about triples up. Next I head to another table where I get to play with a celebrity. His real name is Mike McDermott. <laughs> it's the same name that Matt Damon's character in the movie Rounders has. Here I play a $15 bomb pot at that table, and I have ace jack suited on the button. The flop comes king 10 seven with the king and 10 of clubs, so I flop the royal flush draw. Checks to me, and you can be pretty damn sure that I'm gonna bet this, I make it 65. Small blind reaches for chips, and he calls. Everyone else folds, we're heads up, in position, and we spike the four of clubs. It's such a beautiful sight to see when you semi bluff and get there. Small blind checks, I grab some green chips, and bet 150. Yeah. You do not like folding, sir. Uh, you're not a folder. The river is the nine of hearts, we still have the nuts. The opponent looks like he wants to bet. Don't do it. You don't want to, this is not good for you. There's nothing better than when you have the best possible hand and people are putting money into the pot. Make it 500. 500. The player tanks for a long time. I'm hoping he'll have a straight or a two pair type of hand. Maybe he has a flush or maybe he's considering getting out of line as a bluff. He eventually tosses in chips to call. I turn over the ace high flush. We win a big pot. The session is going about as well as it could be. We're up almost 1400 after this hand. I get some M&Ms from somebody who works for the White House that are made especially for the president. Then I run cold for a while before getting dealt pocket queens in the big blind at my ninth and final table of the night. The hijack opens at 20, I three bet to 80. The opponent calls, it's heads up. The flop is seven, four, three with two clubs. I bet 95. The player lets it go. That's the last interesting one that I get involved in after playing seven hours and 45 minutes for the longest meetup game session that I've had. Crazy session. Uh, we had 22 tables going of 3-5, no limit, which is insane. It's by far the biggest meetup game that we've ever done. Uh, before that, we had, I think the the record was seven tables, and uh, we had a couple hundred people here tonight, which is absolutely nuts. The staff did an amazing job. Didn't uh, I was kind of worried. I thought there'd be like some big hiccups, and uh, I thought, you know, I was kind of preparing for the worst in my mind, but. They did an amazing job, so uh, you know the plan is to come back at some point. Um, I won 1,095 on the night, so uh, poker went well too. Time to head to the bar now. Around 15 to 20 of us hang out at the bar for admittedly was probably a few too many drinks, but it was a special night. People came in from all over to hang out and play poker with Andrew and myself. What's your name, man? Hunter. And uh, where'd you come from today? I came from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. 
Nick, where'd you come from? Wisconsin. I drove down to O'Hare. I flew over and uh, you drove to Chicago. Tired. Yes. And then uh, how far is that drive? Like four hours. So you drove four hours, and then how how long is the plane? Oh, like two hours or so. so wow. I'm traveling. Man. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, for sure. Nice meeting cool. you, Brad. Nice meeting you. It's our first trip to the East Coast for a meetup game, and it's definitely going to be one that we remember for a long time. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons because it helps out the channel a ton. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to get back to you. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone at Maryland Live, the staff. Uh, they did an amazing job. I, I mentioned that several times in this video, but to manage 22 extra tables of free five, no limit, is a huge task, and I was certainly concerned about it but uh, there weren't any hiccups at all. I was really surprised. I didn't get to play with everybody. I, pl I played at nine tables. Andrew played at nine or 10 as well. Um, but uh, you know, everyone who was there, I think had a good time and uh, I got to hang out with everyone and, and at least talk with, with anybody who was interested in talking and hanging out. So it was a blast. Thanks to everybody who showed up. Uh, we, we broke a record with the most tables that we've ever had in a meetup game and the longest meetup game session that I've ever played. So it was a, it was a ton of fun. Um, be sure to take advantage of the discounts uh, that Jonathan Little has for uh, PokerCoaching.com and the Ultimate Coaching Bundle. I have links down below in the description box for that. And then also uh, for the giveaway that he's doing for the three seats to the $500 buy-in of the Big 50 WSOP tournament. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the uh, Global Poker Awards nominations came out for the Vlogger of the Year. Unfortunately, I didn't make the cut. To be honest, I was disappointed by that, but uh, not much I can do. Um, there is the Player's Choice uh, voting going on right now. So if, you, if you've enjoyed these videos, if you've gotten some entertainment or learned something from them, or if you've come out to a meetup game and had a good time, then uh, please click on the link down below in the description box and uh, enter in my name for the player's choice. That'd be real cool. It's a long shot, but it would just be nice to be a part of the awards in, in some capacity. Next meetup game is gonna be at Hollywood Park Casino in, in LA. It's our first Southern California meetup game. I'm excited about that. We're having a meet and greet on April 6th. We're playing a tournament April 7th. It's a $100,000 guarantee. And then we're playing a cash game on April 8th. So hope to see you guys out there. Hope you're all doing well. Good luck at the tables and I'll see you next time.